I have some bad news. And I've only told this information to a few close friends of mine, but in this video, a few thousand of you are gonna know. And that's, I got knocked out. Now, before we get into why I got knocked out or how that even happened, a lot of you guys know I started a boxing journey. This was around a year ago now. I signed up to my local boxing gym. And I felt that I needed to learn a martial art. I feel like it's a rite of passage for a man. I got my fitness down packed. My cardio was decent. It definitely got better once I started boxing. And I just wanted to try something new. And overall, it just really challenged myself. And so I didn't get like a private instructor or anything. I just started going to the group classes about two to three times a week. I was balancing that alongside with my training schedule. And overall, it was going pretty well. However, knowing me, I like to be the best at absolute everything. And so after a few classes, once I was kind of getting down the basics, you know, just learning the simple one, two, three, four, a bit of footwork, just getting my cardio better, I came to the conclusion that I'm gonna actually train this. Like, I want to be the absolute best. And for anybody who started a martial art knows how competitive these types of sports can be because the idea of boxing, obviously, so that you can fight people or have the capability to fight if you need to. But I saw people sparring and I thought to myself, hmm, what if I tried that out? What if I actually put myself in a very, very uncomfortable situation I'm sure I will learn a lot from this. And so I actually documented my first sparring session. That's on my channel. That was uh, eight months ago, nine months ago, something like that. And I did all right. Like it wasn't great or amazing or anything, but as a complete beginner, you know, I kind of held my own. Now keep in mind, I've never been in any serious fights in my life. I've had times where, you know, I've been in scuffles and shuffles, but it's never really escalated to that of throwing fists. Now I'm sure with me being almost 30 years old, having never been in a fight, I'm sure I can go the next 30, 40 years of my life without ever getting into a fight too. However, I was too intrigued by the sport. I started watching YouTube videos. I started shadow boxing in my free time. I started posting on my Instagram showing my updated progress of how I'm hitting the bag. You guys have probably seen it and you guys probably have seen me. I actually stopped doing that. Now, let me tell you the story of the one spar that changed absolutely everything. It was a Friday. I did the group class per usual and I laid out a routine for myself that I was gonna spar on Fridays. And this is usually when they spar in my personal gym that I was going to. And so the class was over. I see the guys getting the headgear. I grab my headgear from my car. I go in and I start watching the sparring sessions. Keep in mind, this is like 11 a.m. in the morning. And so, you know, they're, they're going pretty light, like, you know, light sparring. It's never a hard sparring. But I saw this one guy sparring who wasn't actually in our class. Usually it's people in the group class who then spar afterwards. But this guy was kind of doing his own training and he started sparring with us and he was going rounds with people and from what i saw it was actually like sparring like nothing too crazy they weren't going too hard and so i was like okay i'll go up against them next let's see what this is let's let's go ahead and and try this out let's get myself in a, a very uncomfortable situation once again so this was probably my third time third or fourth time like officially sparring in the boxing ring with somebody i don't know where they can hit me in the face with headgear on and so we were doing, I think it was two or three rounds for only a minute or a minute and a half, not too long. But you guys know when you're in the ring, that minute feels like forever. <laughs> you're tired, you're in flat or fight mode, and I'm still a beginner. Keep in mind, like I'm not a pro by any means. I don't even think I'm an intermediate. But we started scuffling, I'm holding my own. I'm jabbing and I was getting real, real comfortable, almost too comfortable. And another issue that kind of happened during the spar specifically was the fact that if I get hit in the face, sometimes I punch back a little too hard and that makes the other person hit me back even harder. And then it gets into like a full on hard spar. I know I've had an issue with this before. I told the coach about it and I really need to train myself in order to go a bit lighter. Here's what happened next. I remember looking at the clock. It was about 20 seconds left. And then next thing you know, I'm waking up. I kid you not, I don't remember shit. I don't remember getting hit. I don't remember anything. I, I kind of woke up and I was like, where am I? I was like, yeah, well, I'm in the boxing ring. It literally felt like I just woke up from a dream, like a sleep. I had no memory of the training session from earlier. I had no idea where I was. I had no idea what I was doing. 
Uh, my coach was above me trying to wake me up, taking the headgear off of me. Uh, people were around me kind of looking. And before you ask, no, nobody has this recorded, but I, I honestly wish they had this recorded. And I asked my coach, I was like, what happened? You know, why am I on the ground? And she was like, well, you just sparred him. And then she's pointing at the guy who I just sparred, who just knocked me out. And he's just chilling on the on the bag. He's hitting the bag as if, you know, he didn't even break a sweat, just chilling. And I was like, I sparred him? Like, he looks way more advanced than me. And she was like, yeah, you sparred him. And I was like, oh, man. And then slowly, as I'm gathering my thoughts, I'm like, oh, I got a headache. My ankle hurts. Like, what happened to my ankle? Why is my ankle hurt so bad right now? But then I asked my coach, like, how did this even happen? What happened? And she said, at the end, I was sort of getting a little comfortable because I knew the time was about to be up soon. I let my hands down as I was sort of turning the corner and pivoting, and he caught me with a right overhand right on my chin. Now, you guys know if you're in any fighting sport, the chin is one of the most sensitive spots that can induce a knockout. Keep in mind, I was wearing a headgear too, so this had to been literally the most perfect punch ever. Perfect setup, perfect placement, boom, I'm out. And I don't have a trained chin yet. Uh, I, I think I have a, a soft chin after going through this. And I was like, oh, wow, that's, that's crazy. I wish we had footage so I can see exactly what happened. Because I, I'm telling you, I've always wondered what it felt like to get knocked out. And now I know, like, you just don't remember shit. I, I can't even tell you what happened. All I was doing is I was, I was sparring him, I was boxing. Next thing I know, I'm on the ground and they told me I got hit in the chin. And so afterwards, I'm like, oh, my ankle hurts so bad. And she said, as I was falling down, I actually twisted my ankle. Now, if you've seen some of these boxing fights, this happens quite often because your whole body goes limp. And in some cases, you can actually break your ankle in a very, very bad way. I didn't break my ankle. It was definitely sprained to some degree because after that, uh, I, I couldn't really walk. I was limping pretty much the whole day. My ankle was swollen and bruised. I stayed a bit after the clash, just kind of collecting my thoughts and I couldn't drive. So I had to call somebody to come pick me up. And I asked a dude because he was still training as if he didn't just spar a few people. He was in the bag. And I said, how long you been boxing for? And he said, uh, just like four, five, six years, just a few years. It was definitely a lot longer than me. And he's told me that he's actually a amateur fighter. He's had one or two fights. I'm not sure if he won or lost them, but that's when I realized like what the was I thinking? <laughs> After that, I had to approach boxing a little bit differently. It kind of changed my whole perception of it. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie, it really, really demotivated me. I think anybody who trains boxing, especially if you're serious, if you get knocked out, that's like the most demotivating thing ever. But of course, champions put themselves back up, they get back in the ring because that comes with a game. You know, Anthony Joshua, like he literally just got knocked out just a few days ago at the time of this recording and even him he's like you know shit happens right one wrong move after all the training that's all it takes you train hours and hours at a time you let your hand down for one second boom they caught you game over and yes it does suck but that's why honing into the basics is very very important when it comes to any martial arts it's really refining your basics of technique and one thing about me is that i knew that i had a problem with putting my hands down it could be after a jab I'll put my hands down or when I get tired or when I get too comfortable, my hands are below my chin. And that was definitely a lesson learned for me. Now, I was already weird about sparring in the first place because I feel as somebody who does a lot of cognitive work, things with my brain, that's like my most important asset. I have to protect my brain. And getting a concussion is one of the worst things you can do for your brain. Not to mention with my, my image and things like that, I've gotten black eyes in the past from sparring a little bit or cuts in my face. And that's when I told myself, yeah, I have to stop sparring. Like, I can't take this as seriously as I was hoping for. That's because the risk is just overall not worth it to me. It's not worth it for my job position, for what I do. You know, like I said, I got to protect my brain, got to protect my face. And I'm not trying to be a professional fighter. So why am I training like one? But that's the the sort of ambition and motivation I have when I really wanna get good at something. I start training as if I'm about to go to the Olympics. So like I said, my ankle was effed up for a very long time. It's still sore to this day. And this happened in April, 2024. At first, after a few weeks, I was going back to class, but my ankle wasn't healing. And I thought I had a torn ligament or something within it. And I went to the doctor and they were like, well, are you still going to boxing? I'm like, yeah. And they're like, okay, you gotta stop it cold turkey 
for at least three to four months to allow your ankle to fully heal so right now i'm only on month two in terms of like no boxing at all not hitting the bag not pivoting and it has gotten a lot better but i still need some time in order to make it fully heal now i've been thinking within this downtime period of how i'm going to approach it moving forward i'm going to approach it more like a hobby how i initially wanted to approach boxing not going crazy on sparring if i do spar only body spars no head spars but i do find boxing beneficial in terms of just learning how to stand your ground learning the proper fundamentals and especially the cardio aspect the cardio is what i really love the most that's the most i've ever sweat and that's the most i actually ever get tired you guys know boxing and sparring like you get exhausted after just a few minutes and so once my ankle is healed i definitely do plan on returning starting slow and then if i do spar only doing body spars like i said and definitely not sparring anybody who's way above my level by any degree maybe like a little bit better but eh, probably not an amateur professional fighter or people who have had fights underneath their belt now the reason why i tell the story is because i know some of you guys are training for boxing or maybe you're sparring too and some of you guys have never been knocked out in your life and let me tell you it's not a fun experience you got a headache for a few days you know you really your memory is kind of shot you got a lot of brain fog and overall just not not a great feeling whatsoever especially if it's your first time but i think moving forward i am excited to get back training slowly but surely and we'll see what happens uh, let me know down below in the comments have you ever been knocked out whether it be in a professional environment or maybe even a street fight you know let me know your experiences and kind of what happened to you also if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace